If Kevin O'Leary were 30 years old saying the same thing he's saying today, I would say, dear sir, you have a big problem in front of you because at some point people aren't going to need investment advice because guess who's going to do that for them? Okay, I got fired up this week and I want to tell you why. Have you ever heard of a guy who calls himself Mr. Wonderful? I'm not kidding. He actually calls himself that. And some advice that he gave this week is really not wonderful. Okay, I don't often get really fired up about things and especially about other people, but I got fired up this week. A couple days ago, I read an article on Yahoo Finance, I think. I'll link it in the description below so you can read the whole thing for yourself. But it was an article on an interview with Kevin O'Leary, who, I kid you not, calls himself Mr. Wonderful. Kevin O'Leary is a businessman, an entrepreneur, an investor, pretty successful. You might know him as an investor on Shark Tank, which is kind of a fun show to watch. Out. Gone. I don't know what you're doing. You say you're an entrepreneur. I'm you focus on the money. And that's how I recognize his name. What he said was that people shouldn't retire early because they don't know it yet, but their job defines them. I kid you not, he said that. Now, some of you might be saying, well, yeah, of course. And if you are, stick with me here. A little bit of background. I come from Silicon Valley. I come from the investing world. I have worked with with and for venture capital companies many times. I've worked for investment advisors. I've worked for startups, the whole shebang. I know that world. And I know what it's like to live in the hustle culture of your, in fact, your job defines you. And I'm here to tell you it's toxic and it is not right for everyone. And before I go into the details on that, let me just caveat this by saying, I'm not attacking Kevin. I'm not going to call him Mr. Wonderful, although I just did several times, but I'm not attacking the man. I'm not attacking the person. I'm sure he's a lovely person, I think, given the benefit of the doubt. What I don't like is that he is telling people that they shouldn't retire early or maybe shouldn't even retire at all because their work defines them. And let me tell you about how dangerous that is. We have for years, especially in Silicon Valley, have been pushing this hustle culture where you not only have to have your 60 hour a week job, but you have to have a side hustle or two or three. And if you're not pushing, if you're not hustling, if you're not making as much money as possible, you're not successful. You're not fulfilling your life. You're not fulfilling your purpose and your value. And I'll tell you what, as somebody who retired at 52 from Silicon Valley, I totally disagree. So the first thing I'm going to do is take a great big deep breath. (sighs) Because as you can tell, if you've seen any of my other videos, I'm usually pretty calm, cool, and collected. This has me fired up. The notion that your job defines you as a human being can be so dangerous. Yes, it is important to understand how the activities that you participate in as you go about your job and as you go about your career are important to you. The things you get out of it are important to you. The impact that you have on the world, if you are lucky enough to be working in a job that has some deep, meaningful impact on the world, that is all important and it's lovely and it's fulfilling and and it might be the thing that lights you up. But there's only a small, a very small portion of people in the world today who have to work to make a living, who find their jobs that fulfilling, fulfilling enough to say that it totally defines them. And I challenge you, to find more than maybe one or two people who on their deathbed laid there saying, man, I wish I would have worked harder. I wish I would have worked longer. 
it really just doesn't happen that way. And if you're thinking about retiring or if you are retired, it is important to think about your identity and how you see yourself and how you want to see yourself post-career. But the notion that you can't find fulfillment in anything other than your work is just plain silly. It's just silly. And if you see this, Mr. O'Leary, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you're not wrong about yourself. You do you. That's totally fine. If you have decided that your work absolutely defines who you are and you find joy in your work, then you should keep doing it. Kevin O'Leary is about 70 years old, I think, and he continues to work and he says he will be working up until the day he dies. And you know what? That's fine for him. But I think it's really, really bad advice for most people. And if you're out there thinking about retiring or nervous about retiring because your job is really important to you, I really challenge you to envision what other activities you could do in your life that would also bring you that same joy and fulfillment. It might be working at a nonprofit or volunteering in your community. It might be throwing pottery. You never know what is going to spark joy in you and what's going to give you purpose and fulfillment in your day-to-day life until you try things. But the notion that you have to get up and go to work every day and spend however many hours a week doing that thing you've always done just because you don't know any, anything else but that, and that's the only way that you can think of that you are identifying yourself, you've got a lot of work to do. And there are so many great ways to go about that journey. But please don't think you have to work for the rest of your life in order to find fulfillment and purpose. You don't. I'm here to tell you that you don't. And this hustle culture can have devastating effects on mental health and physical health and spiritual health as well. When you spend your whole life thinking that your sole purpose is to make more money or to get a certain title or to just have something to do every day, you're totally missing the point. You can argue with me if you want, And again, there are going to be some folks, a very small subset of people who actually do get a lot of fulfillment from their work, more power to you. Like that's fantastic. You should keep doing that then as long as you want. But I know for me, for instance, I'll speak from my experience that while the hustle culture was fun sometimes and energizing and I learned so much and I met some wonderful people in that experience, it also took a toll on me physically. And there's even somebody I worked for who has said similar things. He was the chairman of the board in the last company that I worked for. He was also one of the founders. And his name is Peter Diamandis. And Peter is an amazing guy, so smart, incredibly entrepreneurial, has done some really fantastic things. He taught me how to have an abundance mindset in life, which I still carry with me to this day. But Peter has even said that he will never retire, that he thinks that's the death of him would be to retire. And again, Peter, for you, fabulous. But for most people, that's not it. So be careful when you read things like that. Don't let them scare you. Don't let them make you think that once you leave your job, you don't have any value or you don't have um, any way to define yourself or that you'll completely lose your identity. Work is important and making money is important, especially if you don't have a lot. Totally get that. But it doesn't define you. Let's go talk about it some more. So I switched thoughts. I decided I needed an energy shift. Just talking about the hustle culture and the idea that one needs to continue working for the rest of their lives completely messed with my energy. Now, I'm not going to get all woo-woo on you. 
but let's have a real conversation about your identity and your worth and how you define yourself. And let's separate that from having to work to get all of that stuff. Again, you can find all of those things, identity and value and purpose in your work, but it's not mutually exclusive. You can't only find it in your work. The work that you choose to do in your life is important. Absolutely. It does not define you, however. It can define a piece of you, but it doesn't define who you are as a human being. And who you are changes as the years go on. And I encourage you to even diversify how you think about your identity. If you primarily identify yourself as a career person, what happens when you lose your job? Or you're at a place where you have to retire for some reason. If you primarily identify or if you solely identify yourself as a wife or a mother or a sister or some other role that is dependent on somebody else on the other side, what happens when you lose those people and you're no longer somebody's wife or husband or life partner? And so the more you are constantly leaning into new aspects of life and new interests, the more you have multiple parts of your identity that you can, that you can hold on to when the other ones start to fade away. Does that make sense? And so I ask you to think about, and please leave me some notes in the comments and let's have a conversation about how you define yourself as a human being. What are the aspects of your life that you think contribute to your identity? And are they things that are sustainable? Are they things that are prescribed to you or are they things you have chosen? How are you thinking about having new identities, having new things in life that help you make the change from being a career person to being a retired person, for instance. And it's not just about retirement, but that's the easiest way to think about it. And if you need help thinking about how you identify yourself, what are the things that define you? And it seems a little existential. Let me know that too. Like, let's have that conversation. Or maybe there's a follow-up video. And I'm not just coming to you as a single individual with no experience in these things. Yes, I have my own personal experience. I also have been a human resources professional just about my entire working adult life, 25 plus years. And so I've had hundreds of conversations with people who were deep in the hustle culture, who were deep in the expectations that their careers defined them and that they had to be a vice president by the time they were 40, otherwise they were a failure. I've had many deep conversations with people about this in very real and critical situations. So my experience is more than just my own. And this is part of the reason why I'm here on YouTube making making videos like this. I think we have a problem in America in particular, but perhaps in other places as well, that work is the reason for living. And I'll give you another thing to think about with the advancements in AI and the way that AI is going to change the world. And it will happen. How it happens is up for debate, but it will happen. And it is highly likely that the way that we see work today is going to completely change over the next 10, 20, 30 years. And I mean completely. That's a whole other set set of conversations, but it's a piece of it. If we define ourselves as a society around our work and our jobs, and then that goes away at some point, and all of a sudden we're like, oh God, now what do we do? How do we, what is my purpose in life? Why are we here? What am I going to do? How am I going to make money? What These challenges are going to be real at some point. How soon? That's up for debate. But that's another aspect of the dangers of letting your work define you. If Kevin O'Leary were 30 years old saying the same thing he's saying today, I would say, dear sir, 
you have a big problem in front of you because at some point people aren't going to need investment advice because guess who's going to do that for them? AI. Thanks for sticking around with me. Thank you for being here until the end. I appreciate you. Please do all the things if you're still here and you're enjoying these kinds of conversations. And if you want to know a little bit more about my journey and how I got to where I am and why I got out of the hustle culture, take a look at this video. It'll explain a little bit more and I'll see you next time.